Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. Glad you guys are here. Welcome in. Welcome back. Back again for another special video. Excuse me. Um, and today we're going to be reviewing Grecian Horse Kaizen 2E. Oh, baby. So, as always, I uh, want to welcome all those that have been here before uh subscribers or just people who have uh been checking out my my channel um i appreciate you if you're not a subscriber i invite you to become part of the family um if not then that's okay we still love you very much and um for those of you that are new my name is silky creamy and i do niche review videos of mainly shaving products um and other skincare products and uh, we take a deep dive into taking a look at the product and looking at the packaging looking at the product taking our first scents um smells of the scent and then uh, we take a look at the website then see how that compares and that way you folks have a better understanding of what we're looking at so today we are going to be reviewing grecian horse so Grecian Horse is not a new scent to um, the club or Ariana and Evans, but this the restocking of this scent um, is in the Kaizen 2E base. So this is the newest base that is from Ariana and Evans, and Kaizen is well known, and Kaizen is. Was something that was um, available to the public, but Kaizen 2 was only available to the um, VIP members. So uh, VIP members like us have been able to get our hands on Kaizen 2 products for a while. Um, Peter has now opened up Kaizen 2 to the public so people can buy Kaizen 2. Um, but now Ka Kaizen 2E with Emu Oil is now available to vip members but not available to the public so if you want to get your hands on this you gotta you gotta be a, a vip member it's very affordable it's only like 12 dollars i think for six months so it's a very affordable option in my opinion because not only do you get access to these you know high-end shaving products this is probably the best base out there because uh, in my opinion kaizen 2 is the best base and then you add emu oil is even better um but you get 20 percent off so these soaps are like 20 bucks it's like a 20 dollar tub for five ounces i think it is Three ounces, but that's fluid ounces. I think that's for like the EU. How many ounces is it? It's not three ounces. This is more than three ounces. Maybe what is it three ounces? No. Am I losing my mind? Hundred milliliters. interesting anyway i did a sidetrack by that so sorry folks um so the label looks like a beautiful like unicorn in a sense it's a grecian horse it's got wings there's your kaizen and kanji pretty straightforward the back Kind of a darker colored, so it makes me think wood or oriental. Let's go ahead and take a look. Boom, okay, so it is dark. Interesting. So this is what Kaizen 2E looks like. This is the pore. Very interesting. So I, it's definitely, um, so there's a slight difference from the um, regular Kaizen 2, which had more cratering. 
um, and ribbons. So you have some um, slight ribbons happening here, um, almost like veins, right? You got these little veins, very little cratering. There's one crater there. There used to be a lot of craters and a lot of like ribbons. This is more, you could tell it's thicker. It's like a paste in a sense. Um, yeah, it's definitely firmer than um, Kaizen 2. Um, overall, in just firmness, this is, I would say, this is still, um, um, it's not firm, but it's, um, it's not completely firm like a holy cow um firm um it's not a triple mill by any stretch of the imagination it is um almost completely firm there's it's still a little bit soft in some areas um so some does come off but this is definitely the firmest um base that uh, peter has made so this is going to be firmer than 345 this is firmer than paa um it's not holy cow uh, firm but this is right in between anyway anyway let's go ahead and get to our first smell so definitely picking up um like sandalwood or some sort of wood there's something else in here that is throwing me off I don't know what it is. It's a darker scent. Um, definitely wood. Um, could be an oriental or a... I mean, I mean, I don't know if there's oud in here. If there is, it's very faint. Don't really pick up oud. Um, but it's a dark scent. Um, but there's something else in here that is kind of like uh, maybe some floral. Um, that is adding a little bit of character to it. So... This is a predominantly woody scent, um, but again, I think there is a four one here. We'll see. So here it is. Um, reading from the website, Grecian horse. Um, let me put this on. Grecian horse in our all new Kaizen 2 e base with emu oil. Emu oil is not a standard ingredient, as it's incredibly expensive in its pure form. Grecian horse features an unexpected almond note, slightly sweet yet somewhat bitter and warm. Vanilla steals the show in the base of the superb scent, while bergamot, sandalwood, and amber tame the sweetness, rendering it refined and inviting. One smell and you'd be swept away in its sophistication and majesty, tra transporting you back to the what is that uh 18th century he's, he's using roman numerals i had to kind of look at that um okay so um i didn't really pick up the almond i picked up um so i think it's the vanilla taming the bergamot that i couldn't pick out both so they were kind of counteracting each other and that's what i couldn't pick out I just couldn't pick that out. The sand of wood obviously was there. Um, but at the almond I did not pick up. I can't pick that up here. Uh, maybe that will come out when I lather. Um, but maybe it's not supposed to be like a real strong note. So only, you know, those with uh, very, very um, uh, sharp uh, senses will be able to pick that up. Um, but vanilla, yeah, I can definitely... Um, um yeah i can see that now but again it i knew something was going on um i couldn't pick out the vanilla immediately but now knowing there's vanilla in here now i know what's happening it's counteracting bergamot so they're kind of clashing but they're not yeah they're kind of like canceling out each other in a sense um which leaves this kind of like blended uniqueness that like yeah, i've definitely picked up so Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the splash. Splash is in the alloy juice and alcohol and the rose water. So this is very, 
That's his normal aftershave now. It's the same ingredients. Okay. Very little bit of tape on this one. And let's do our first smell. Um, uh, this one is slightly bergamot, um, as the top note. Um, and then I think maybe the almond and the vanilla, they're both kind of sweet. They're kind of blending together. So, um, it's 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 kind of well blended so nothing is really stealing the show in this it smells very nice um but the bergamot slightly comes out over the um um what you call it the bergamot and the almond uh because this definitely not much wood is coming through on this i think this is more of that battle they were talking about um kind of like uh evening each other out and I can, I can somewhat pick up some almond there. Um, so yeah, this is Grecian horse emu oil. Hope you enjoyed.